with the SAT coming up in a couple of days, uh, I wanted to do this SAT question that I feel like some of y'all might find kind of tricky. When you compare the left and the right sides of these equations, one thing you might notice is that the exponents are not quite the same. So when I see this, my first thought is to try to rewrite the left side in some way to where my exponent can just be X. Looking at the fact that that exponent is a fraction, I know that I can rewrite that using my properties of exponents and write it as a radical. And so when you rearrange it like this, it's easy to tell that the left side and the right side have the same exponent. So since those left sides and right sides are equal to each other, then their arguments also have to be the same. So I can literally just set that fourth root of 1.84 equal to one plus P over 100. And then I can use that to solve for P. I just calculate the fourth root of 1.84 and that gives me roughly 1.165. So I just set those two arguments equal to each other. And then if I'm on the SAT, I'm crunched for time. I'm just gonna subtract one from both sides and then know that I got a times by 100. So if I subtract the left side by one, that's 0 0.165. And then I know it's multiplying by 100 is just moving that decimal space to the right twice. So that'll give me 16.5 equals P. And looking at my answer choices, 16.5 isn't an answer choice, but it says which of the following is closest to the value of P. So I'm just gonna go A.